Let's talk about these green beans again. I grow green beans in my garden every year and I pick them and I cook them that evening and they're vibrant, they're full of flavor, they're amazing. Would you believe that this pre-sliced ready to go green bean that I can have in January or any month of the year is just as flavorful? It really, really is. You can even eat them like this. It's a little dry, but you can do it if you want to. And you just like, wow, you get that green bean flavor. Now, of course, you're probably not going to munch on veggies all the time like that, although my kids do. My kids will literally munch on, like, broccoli right out of the can. I've caught them doing it. Uh, but more often than not, they'll go for the fruits right out of the can. I have a really cute photo of my daughter when she was about two years old, climbing, trying to get on top of the fridge to grab the strawberry can from up there. Uh, so they love this fruit and it does, it does make me feel so good as a mom to see my kids enjoying healthy, nutritious food. But let's talk about those of us who have sweet tooths, okay? Um, here's a few blueberries. So, and these, the first time I tried them, I gave them to my one-year-old son and he was just ecstatic. They tasted like candy to him, but of course it's just a blueberry. It's amazing. It really is so fabulous to have this on hand as an easy snack that you can have in your diaper bag, take in the car with you, put it in your purse, throw it in your work drawer, have it in your gym bag. This is really awesome food for that purpose and it's so tasty, so flavorful. But let's talk about how you can use it in baking and cooking. First off, I'm going to show you a really quick mom hack. I call it my mom hack for getting my kids to drink just ordinary water. So I'm going to take those blueberries I showed you. I have a glass. I'm going to use sparkling water that I carbonated, but you could use flat water too. Sparkling just makes it more fun. And let's get your water in there. I got a spoon. I'm going to pop my blueberries in there. And now I'm going to stir. There we go. Isn't that super cool? My kids love this so much. Who of you buys flavored cream cheese to put on your bagels? Usually you can get lots of different flavors at the grocery store. And there's probably some extra stuff in there along with the flavoring to preserve it and whatnot, right? How about getting rid of all that extra stuff and just having the nutrition from using real food to flavor it? So this is strawberry cream cheese that I made powdering Thrive Life strawberries and I just powdered the strawberries and mixed it in with a block of plain cream cheese that I had. Now if you want you can also add some sugar to it, you don't have to. It, it's totally up to you what you want the final result to be like. But that is my cream cheese and this I made this for the video and it only took me like two minutes to make it. Really simple. So you can powder our fruit to make amazingly colorful and delicious frosting. And bonus, you get to use less powdered sugar because the fruit powder replaces some of it. So it's lower sugar. I've had people tell me it's the best frosting they've ever tasted. And you're really only limited by your imagination. I've infused powdered fruit into pancakes and waffles. I've powdered spinach, peppers, and mushrooms and more and hid it in spaghetti sauce or macaroni and cheese. And as an alternative to panko crumbs, I've used crumbled cauliflower, broccoli, and zucchini to bread chicken. Or check out this festive Christmas tree spinach dip using freeze-dried spinach that I put together. And using that freeze-dried spinach really saved me time and amped up the nutrition and flavor. So I know you're just watching this from a screen, but I hope you're getting a sense of how fun, versatile, and tasty this food is. So are you starting to think of ways you could use it in your own meal prep and eating routines? 
Anyways, let me know in the comments and I look forward to our next video where I'm going to be talking about how the food really is fresher than fresh.